Welcome back to another episode of um, this podcast, A New Direction. And on today's episode, we'll be picking up from where we left off from our previous um, discussion on um, fatherhood. This episode will be the continuation of our episode on the fatherhood, just as we promised to finish up what we had introduced and opened you guys up to in our previous um, episode. So, but before we kick off our discussion, I should I would like to introduce you all to everyone on the forum with me today. I have um, Brother Savior. Good morning to you all. We have um, Sister Yuti. Good morning to you. We have Brother Kufre. Good morning to you all. We have um, Sister Udwak. Good morning. And I myself and Brother David. So, we kicked off our discussion on fatherhood by playing um, some, some videos. We had actually told you guys that we had three videos, which we'll be looking at on that um, episode. But due to certain um, factors, we, we didn't want to go into the last part of it. So, we wanted to extensively talk about it. So... We, we, we bring and kind of um, clear, clear the cobwebs out of the, out of the cupboard or the closet. So it's something we needed time to fully get into. So that's why we are, that's why we decided to, how will I say, that's why we decided to sectionalize, sectionalize it, yeah, just as um. We said that's why I decided to sectionalize it. So when we come in again to look at the last bit of it, we will have ample time to fully discuss it and hopefully clear up any misconception we might have had over the years on who a father is and what a father yeah. actually is. Yes. So I think what we'll do is um to refresh your mind is to play the earlier videos we had um, used. So by the time we get to the video we'll be analyzing today, it will make things a little bit more easier and um, clearer. clearer for you to follow and understand. So hit play. Can we plead with the God of heaven and say today we repent from every God that we have made a God in place of your majesty we repent as a people we repent as individuals we repent as nations the things that we have trusted in in the last decade in the body of christ other than our god other than our king we repent we bring repentance before you and we ask oh god even our strong tower show us mercy but number one, who is your spiritual father? Well, if you are dealing with the issue of fatherhood and submission, um, most people ask these questions because they come from Pentecostal circles. When you meet people who come from Orthodox background, especially people who come from the North, this question uh, has an angle to it. The concept of mentorship and fatherhood to people who were raised by the North is rather systemic than individual because the way ministries are in the North, they do not have a single overseer that everybody who comes under submits to. Now, that does not mean it is wrong. Are we together now? I've heard all kinds of teachings about that and um, we came from a background where whoever was your pastor, after three years, you would not see the person again. You get the point now at various phases of my life and my experience i've had different people being introduced i was raised from equa my grandfather by the way was the founding father and the trustee of the church of christ in nation so i came from that that lineage and then my experience with the evangelical church winning all and then seasons of mentorship and training under archbishop Benjamin Kwashi, the Anglican Seminary, you see that. But then I think the unique nature of my life mandated and necessitated that 
I kept having a lot of experiences with different people. Uh, I, would, I would not frown at the concept of having a single father, an individual who you lead. I submit to the body of Christ. I'm very clear about that. You've seen my relationship with fathers. Um, and I've gone to the Lord in prayer, uh, asking questions on that. And God has planted me across several people, a father in the Lord, uh, Baba Deboye, Bishop Oedipo, and several people. These are people who represent authority structure. So my concept of fatherhood uh, is a bit different from what is generally understood in the body of Christ. And I don't want to delve so much so that it does not become a template that brings confusion nor plants rebellion to people who are submitting to fathers. That's why I'm careful addressing this. But the concept of fatherhood as we know in church uh, is not all that there is to fatherhood, unfortunately. For various reasons, um, I may not want to delve into certain things here because I, this is not exclusively a pastor's conference, else there are things we would have been able to share. But here is my, my, um, my take for whoever is asking that question. If God has planted you in a ministry like this, the man of God, the overseer that he has set over you, becomes your father from the word Abba, the one who begat you in the gospel. That is the original idea of fatherhood. The one who begat you in the gospel. But you see that that template is not really ideal because many people who come are usually already saved and even already transformed. For most of them, there may be men and women who are in ministry who just come to submit to get direction. So what most people call fatherhood is actually mentorship. Fatherhood classically starts from the point of getting you saved and then growing you spiritually. That means there is a track record of having, make it, have, having made that spiritual investment in your life. You get the idea now? So there, there are dimensions of fatherhood, unfortunately, that have been abused in Africa. For many people, it's just a license to show that you are not a rebel. And so people just look for anybody and just continue with a lot of rebellion with no touch at all with the father. The purpose of fatherhood is supposed to be for guidance, for mentorship, for correction. Okay, so this was the, this was the, the videos we, we used earlier. Yeah. And we tried to point out a few things that we are mentioned in the video. Yes. But there was one thing we always agreed with was the fact that the father is someone who gives direction, who gives instruction, who gives um, correction. correction, who gives all that, and at the end, who is a mentor and every other, every other thing. But we also said that man can't stand in that position yes. to be the one to give instructions, to give guidance, to, 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 to give all those things. To, to a fellow man yes. because he's not in his capacity to, to, to do, do that. so. Yes. That's the same way we go about looking for help in the hands of men. When we have unanimously agreed that help can only come from God, yes. it's because God that we all claim to know and believe in, we can't see. Yeah. Yeah. So the, 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 the next, the next and uh, best bet is to look for, Establish for men ourselves. who we feel have access to that God yes. to get that help from. Yes. But remember, we agreed or we said that as much as we look for help in the hands of men, yes. that that's the same way we would also look for help Indeed. in the hands of God. Yes. And yes. this time, God will also be a person whom we can see and access yes. to get that help from. Yes. Because we can't get the help from God we from are. the sky. Yes. Well, that is the only way it can work. That's that's that was the that was the fact we we yes, established. Then we pointed out a couple of things that he mentioned, like when he talked about if that the father is um, the one who begot you in the in the, the gospel, gospel. Yes. The gospel. and mm -hmm. the idea that we have about um, the gospel is the the the, the preaching of um, Christ. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I remember I've asked I've, I've asked a, I've, I've asked the people a couple of um, times what it means as what what's the gospel, mm. and they just simply said it's the preaching of Christ. Mm. 
And that's what the gospel is. Mm -hmm. And remember, we said that Christ is that spirit of God. Yes. That's what we said Christ is. Yes. That when you read Jesus Christ in the scripture, in the Bible, Jesus Christ is referring to that body carrying that spirit of God. That's who Jesus Christ is. So that person is actually God. So the person who begots you in the gospel is God. Yes. Because he's the one coming with that spirit yes. that is of Christ. Yes. Because he is that spirit. Yes. So begotten you in the gospel is trans a transfer of that his spirit to you. Okay. Yes. Following um, a procedure or a process that would um, introduce that spirit to you. Because that is not something that happens with a snap of a finger. Yes. So that's who a father is. And man cannot stand in that yeah. position to do that because exactly. no man has that spirit of christ in, in him. him yes another funny thing we pointed out was when he said that some some people because he he now went on to establish that a father is when he gave instance like when you find yourself in a denomination I mean, that whoever god has put in, in charge, charge of that denomination uh-huh. is who your father, father is. is yes and they may spend three years four years and go somewhere no, those that's are, what those are, those are the ways of men that is why anybody watching us need to understand when we are talking about fatherhood we are talking about god yeah. and his people yes. yes those are the things so it's a very simple term that we need to use because you are talking about the the spirit that generated the world generated humanity yes. as a whole yes so if that spirit is coming to bring it's coming to father us to take his place as a father definitely must come from somebody yes but it's not it can't come from different different men it must come from one person so that is why to show you that no man is qualified he must be to whom that spirit has bettered himself in yes that is now qualified to now all of us now qualified to get that that capacity but it, you see, in the absence of God is where men try to take the place of God. But remember, yes. he said the foundation of God Standard started short. short. Yes. That's how it is. Yes. Having this, this seal. So it means he has, he has been sealed. Yes. No man, you can claim to be in yes. that foundation. Mm-hmm. But if that foundation has been sealed, it will only be revealed by the person to whom it is given. Yes. That is why from the beginning of that video, that's why you needed to run the video again so that whosoever come across this very one should go back to the first uh, episode. episode that we talked about, this fatherhood, yes. and listen to it so that the person will get the claim of what we are discussing here. Because if you listen to the first person talking, it talks about the kind of that human prayer. But that prayer is, the point of that prayer is that Every God that we have made a God out of the, the God of heaven, God should have mercy on us. Yes. You see? Yes. It means there are those that we have taken as God in place of the God of heaven. Yes. You see? Those are the God of head. You, you can see that. Yeah. So if you say instead of the God of heaven, it means there are ones are the, the gods, gods of earth. Yes. So that is why everybody needs to understand when we are talking about the earth and the heaven. You see? Yes. Because we have said here now the earth is referred to man. Men, as a, not just man as one person, but man is everybody, both the male and, and the, the female. female. Yes. So is the God, which is the heavenly one, become the one to whom that spirit that generated the world, generated humanity as a world, has gained access to. That is who qualified to be called the a father. father. Not just a father with mouth, but because he has responsibility to take over the humanity as a whole, to take care to of humanity. Father them. Bring that life to, to father us. us. Yes. So yes. that is what I want to add there, so that anybody that is watching this one should understand, so I can go back and get that from that, that first episode that we talked about. Yes. yes. What I actually wanted to point out from, the, from, the, from what I picked out from the video, which I said we also touched in the other one, was when he said that um, who, when you find yourself in a denomination and whoever the Spirit of God has put in that position to lead that denomination yes. is who your father is. Yes. He now said that there are some people who might find themselves there who are already, already saved. saved. Yes. That's what I actually wanted to okay. point out. Yes. Who are already saved. And remember, we asked, 
if you're already saved, what what then are you doing in that place? Because you're saying there are some who are coming there, if, but they are already saved. Yes. That means you are saved somewhere else, yes. but like, you are now coming to that new place. Yes. Because who does the saving? To get direction. Who does the saving? It's the father. Mm -hmm. So you can't be saved by the father mm -hmm. and you yeah, now leave the father yeah, and go to somewhere else yeah, to go direction. and seek for guidance direction. and direction. Mm -hmm. It doesn't work uh, that it, way. Those so are the ways of it. Shows you, it shows you the, limita the limitation first in our reasoning as yeah. men, yes. then our application, yeah. which is the biggest issue we have. Because sometimes we, we remember, we have said that the, the, the Spirit of the Lord has, has given us a kind of way, it has a system of operation that somehow mirrors that of God. Yes. But the application is where He hides. His mysteries is where he hid everything that man would have thought to do. That would have he that that would have yielded him any yes. kind of because it's the application of, that, of, of that, that carries the power. Yes. yes, because it's because when you keep talking about it's only when God comes that He will do this. It's only when God will come that He will do that. But men have been doing things mm -hmm. and they don't walk the way they are supposed to walk yeah. because men aren't the ones to do things. Yes, yes. that which made us establish that. The, the that, that things wouldn't change because men did things, yes. but things rather would change because men stopped Stop doing, doing things, things because it's not in their power yeah. or capacity it's to do change. anything. Yes. Yeah, so all these are what we talked about in uh, as in the earlier um, Previous episode. episode of um, fatherhood. Yes. So for 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 more for more um, insights into what we talked about. Just as what Akufre mentioned, you visit our channel and watch that particular video on um, fatherhood. So when you're seeing this one or when you're watching this one, you would be, it would be easier to follow up what we'll be talking about as we proceed from here. And there's something I need to add there before we go in because I, I, I come across somebody who put the kind of uh, comments on one of my this thing and the person was saying that I we dispute the Bible. Yeah. We dispute the Bible. But anybody that is watching us need to understand because when you are when you are talking about someone that believe in the Bible, we've said here before that you cannot believe in the Bible. Mm -hmm. You only, only believe, believe the, the Bible, Bible, the report that the Bible gives carries, you. Yes. Mm -hmm. That carries. Mm -hmm. And that report is that there is a spirit of God, yes. which humanity need to seek for. Yes. And the only way to seek that spirit is in the body of the person That's that carries the spirit. Yes. Yes. Because, because the spirit you cannot is not get the Bible. spirit from the sky. Mm -hmm. I and believe that that is the reason why we go to men, yes. that we believe that these men are the men of God. Yes. But as, after we keep testing them, we see that there are limitations that doesn't show the capacity of that spirit. Yes. Yes. So here in this platform, we bring to light Issues that has to do with the practical life okay. on those things that the Bible put in record. Yes. But we have said that no man can understand those things Without except, except the person to whom it is given mm -hmm. to reveal the mystery of the spirit yes. to humanity as a whole. Yes. So when you say we dispute the Bible, it's a wrong statement to use yeah. because we are even the one that is agreeing with the Bible yes. because we are following the spirit by whom the spirit has chosen to dwell in, is now bringing the practical side that we don't have as a people. Yes. Because lack of the practical side is the reason why you can see this denomination today. You yeah. see this one, you see this one, you see different, different denominations. And they are not agreeing with themselves. As long as you are not agreeing with the principle of the spirit, you can agree with yourself. Yes. And you cannot also agree with the principle of the spirit because yeah. that capacity cannot be there until the person to whom it is given is seen in the generation and you receive that person. Yes. That's why I said, to as many as I receive him, mm -hmm. to, to, to them, them gave he power, power to, to become, become the sons, sons of God. God. We yeah. talked about this before. I'm saying that so that anybody watching us should understand what we represent here. Because the only power that a man needs is the power that, from, that must come from that spirit that can make you keep to the things of the spirit. Yes. It takes power. 
to do that. Yeah, that's what we keep on saying. That that's what the power of of of, of God that is. That when we see or when we read that, to that's the Spirit came upon them and mm. the they were given the power to become the sons of God. Yes. I remember when I said the power to become the sons of God is not the power to to Push blow somebody. the yes. and somebody yeah, from assault and the tumble. Uh, but as if we say, it is of assault twenty times. You wonder what it will do for you. But that's not what the power of God is. Yes. That the power of God, or the power rather that He gives to us to become the sons of God, the is the ability to is. keep to His, his instruction, yes. to keep to His principles. Yes. So that's what the power to it become signifies. the sons of God. That's what it, it does. does. That's what it signifies. So any, so just about like said, someone who is saying that you have, um, how do you put it? They are, they are disputing the, the Bible. Bible. It's just because. We are still um, we are still dwelling on that on that darkness because remember we said that whatever the spirit has written in here yes is in absentia of a body yes and when it's time for fulfillment that a person will be available to fulfill what has been written here yes but not the way we think it should be fulfilled yes but the way it actually is meant to, to be, be fulfilled, fulfilled. Yeah. Yes. to, to <laughs> buttress yes. all the points we are saying based on that which is where i was going is that that person become the father that everyone must go to yes that person become the father because that is the one that the spirit has chosen to dwell in in yes. a generation yes to help humanity yes that is the point i wanted because that person now become the one in heaven yes, yes. Outside that person, the rest of the vessels are the earthly vessels. Yes. Those are not qualified to represent that fatherhood. In short, you can see the limitation because a father is not to a section of person. Yes. A father is to humanity as a whole. Yes. That's what it is. Yes. That's right. We are talking about fatherhood when it has to do with the spirit that generated man. Mm -hmm. as a whole yes how that spirit is coming to take care of humanity yeah, that's brought, what we are talking yes, about yes. so it cannot come in one person and now duplicate himself in the hour one to make them fatherhood the that's fathers, fathers. Mm -hmm. it doesn't work like that no. yes. because he said that god is not an author of, of confusion, confusion. Yes. God is not we can only get the confusion that we are getting when we are referring that office of God to, to men. men. Yes. yes. That's why we get the confusion. But yes. the office of God is, is for meant God. for God. Yes. That is why we keep reading that thing that the foundation of God stands there sure. Yeah. That is the foundation. What already been planned, pre planned for that person as God is meant for that person. Yes. Nobody can work that out. Uh, so we you, can, when, we you can... when you talk about the foundation of God standard sure. There is how it ended. I would I would like you to end it. You say the foundation of God standed sure. And the Lord knew having this seal. Yes. Yeah. The Lord knoweth those them. that them that are his. Mm -hmm. So when you say that the spirit who brought humanity is the only one to take care of humanity mm -hmm. and is the only one to come and father humanity to, yes. to take the responsibility of fathering humanity. Yes. It is conditional because he did not is not here on the face of the earth just to save mankind he's here that's so that those who will believe in him might be saved yes so if you are out there using the understanding of man to say that we dispute the bible it is how it is meant to be because you can only think like a man yes, yes. Now, you talk about how the person of God is going to apply what was written. Yes. What was written is not what is written here as letters. Yes. What was written is what the spirit who brought humanity Program. decided. Yes. What is written? Let's, not, let's stop using words so it doesn't sound like past tense. What is written? What is written yes. is not letters. Yes. It's what the spirit who brought humanity decides. Mm -hmm to make happen as pre-planned as pre-planned mm -hmm. so he is the one who knows how to apply those things in our life so in the fulfillment of what was written which is the pre-plan mm -hmm. 
you see that when he applies it in your life, it will be it will be a direct opposite of what you read as letters. Mm. Yes. That is why the ways of God is not the ways of man. Yes. That is why the person of God who is in our midst did not come to be, he is not here to read yes, letters. He's Bible. He's here to make what was pre-planned yes. happen in our life. Yes. If we don't have life as men, he is here to give us that life. And that life will come as we follow his instruction. Yes. And those instructions are direct opposite of the life we live because, as men. Yes. yes. So when you see us living that life, following his instruction, you will now discover that we are not doing what is written here as letters. Yeah. So just you can please yeah. just just to add something. So so somebody does not uh, misunderstand when you say that we are not doing what is written here. It's what is written here as men can see and understand. Yes. 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 It's yes. not yes. what is written here because w- when you are talking about that, when that person of, of God is on ground doing those things which you have just mentioned, yes. Yes. Though they exist. it follows after what is written here. Yes. yes. According to his concept. Yes. Because yes. remember, we keep saying there's well, a concept there's a concept of God. Yes. Then there's the idea of man. Yes. So it follows what is written here according to his concept. Yes. But it doesn't follow what is written here according, according to, to the ideas, ideas of, of men. Yes. Yeah, so you can, so, so, you can so, go. So that, remember, that's why we, we've, we've said here before that we said that the Bible is true. Yeah. yeah but it's not the truth. And can only be revealed by the truth. Yes. yes. The Bible is true. What is written is true. Yes. But can only be revealed by the, by the truth. Yes. yes. The truth now become the person with that spirit of Christ, that spirit of God. Outside that person, no one can get it right. Yes. These things are scriptural. In John 16, 13, we keep using that. Yeah. We keep reading that. We keep bringing to, to light in this our moment. To let our viewers to understand that when you are talking about a comforter, you are talking about the person of the spirit who should come in the midst of a people, a generation that are suffering, to comfort them. When you are talking about the spirit of truth, how he's going to come and guide humanity, you are talking about the spirit of Christ. He cannot guide you without a vessel. So when you are now seeing John 16, 13 saying, how be it when he, the spirit of truth, is come, he will guide you into all truth. Yes. For he shall not speak of himself. One will ask, how can the spirit of truth come and to guide you of, and not speak, speak of, of himself? himself? That is because at that moment, there is somebody carrying that spirit of truth. Yes. There is. Yes. But because that person is not coming like this human life that we do about self thing my wife my children. house my children my brethren my sister my land my this my money it doesn't come to do that but it's coming to set the standard of the truth to humanity to see yes. he said whatsoever he hears that That's he will tell you and he will show you things to come yes. that should tell somebody that this writing this bible we carry cannot help anybody. Yes. Because it is that person that is going to do the guiding. No, we actually there have. are not two. Yes. There are one. Yeah, which yes. is the fatherhood. That is the father. We are explaining the fatherhood now before we get into the video. Because these are the thing. These are the thing. Okay, so do you, do you still want to 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 say anything yeah, or we have we, touched we, we, we have, we yeah, have touched yeah, it yes, yes, touched we still have a lot to say so let's go into the video. yeah so let's um let's um, proceed by playing the video so we can yeah followers of god as their children imitate elsewhere he uses this for men first corinthians 4 14 i write not these things to shame you but as my beloved sons as my not our hey as my beloved sons i warn you next verse for though you have ten thousand instructors the word instructors there is babysitters babysitters 
You can keep your child with babysitters, but you cannot trust babysitters to educate your child. You have had babysitters who kept you waiting for my arrival. So you may have had a thousand babysitters who were watching over you until I came to build you up. You know, we are analyzing this video. Yes. Somebody need to hear that. You see, we've said here that the things that are written, you said it, you just said it. He said in the writing, which is what we are seeing the letters, here, yes. in the letters, is in the absence of the first room. This is the spirit talking. Yes. In this writing now is the absence of the first two that is carrying the spirit. the spirit. Yes. So now, can you put past ten to such a thing? No. If you are talking about a prophecy book that needs to be fulfilled in the life of a people, how do you have a past ten on that? That is the reason why we have the problem we have today in our world. That you can't be talking about God, you are talking about the past ten. Because he said that which had which is which had been, been is, is now. now. That which had been is now, and that which is to be has already, already been. been. You see, you are talking about God. How did he now apply to the people? See the reason why we talked about when somebody said you are disputing the Bible. Now you have a Bible, you have a writing that the Spirit has put in writing for you. Let's say you are going to read to understand. Are you not supposed to read this thing and know how to apply it? How does it now apply when you are talking about past tense? Mm -hmm. You see, past tense is supposed to be what helps you to now know the present. Yes. Yeah. You see, but because the ways of God is not past tense. He said you have had baby sister, baby, baby sisters, sisters mm -hmm. who guide you, instruct you until I came. And how do you marry he? that? And where is he? Until I came. That's what you just said. Yeah. So it's like Paul is now saying, but we are, it's not what we are saying. We are only trying to point this thing to our people to understand that when you are talking about Paul, you are talking about the spirit. Yeah. You are not talking about one man from one Jerusalem. You are talking about the spirit. You don't even know the significance. These things are significant. You see? So, this is something that somebody needs to understand that we are not the one. We are not qualified to be the one to teach a people the ways of God. Yeah. Outside God himself. Yes. How do you even teach the people the ways of God if you are not God? Yes. Because what man knoweth is the things of man. Yes. So is the things of God. Knoweth no man. That's what he said. Yeah. So, how do you now say I'm, I'm saying this for many a time for somebody hearing this thing to understand. You can't say you have had babysitters who have watched over you, mm -hmm. who take care of you until I came. How do you marry that statement? I don't know whether you will listen to him. Mm -hmm. That's what he said. Well, the, 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 what I, I don't want to say what I agree with, but what he said that is the way it is. Mm -hmm. Was when he made emphasis to my that's he said my 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 sons not our sons mm. making making reference to the fact that the father is actually one, one person. person yes just just a single person yes. Yes. that's what that you are not having fathers mm -hmm. it's just one, one. person yes. a father yes that's that is what he said in this brief video that he doesn't played. understand because that's, that is not what he meant. Yes, it may not be he what he meant, understand? or just just as you say that that they double most mm -hmm. of the times, yeah. and when they say something, there is a deeper level of um of um underst that's yeah, there's a deeper level of of um of understanding or mystery as it relates to what we as men get to say. Yes, yeah. but we definitely have no idea of it yes we, remember we talked about when we when we when we made statements like death is an inevitable end mm -hmm. we have just said it but there is a deeper mystery that surrounds it 
Because for men, we say death is, death is an inevitable end, meaning that every man we'll would have, have to, to end that. at the hands of okay. death. Yes. But yeah. looking at it deeply, you now get to realize that death as an inevitable end for man doesn't mean that man is the one who has to end. Yes. But death, death, so. death is what needs to end. Yeah. So we as men need to do whatever it, it takes. takes to end it. Yes. When you look at it that way, it makes a lot more sense. And it shows you work that we as men have, have to, to do, do. Yes. in order to get away from this uh, stupid and crazy nature of sin. Yeah. Yes. So when you are making statements like, or making emphasis to, making emphasis to what has been written here, like, is, is my, yes, my, my sons, my, making, making emphasis, my, not our. Mm. It's the way it is. That's what that's what we, that's what we have been saying here. That when we are talking about fatherhood, who a father is, is God, and yes. God, God, God can be two. It's yes. just one. Yes. So in that sense, that's the way it is. So, but so, what so we need to the point there is that when he's saying my son, is putting everyone. My that sons. is what I'm hearing yes. now. When he says my sons, it means he's putting everyone under that sonship. Yes. yes. But what I was what what I was getting to is what Brother Savior talked about when he was um, when he was um, making um, some some um, analysis to to um, that's when he was trying to point out some few things when he was um, when he was talking, like when you say that my sons remember to become a son of God or to become a child of God requires work. It doesn't just require the appearance of God. Yes. God, God doesn't just appear and all, we all become his sons. Yes. Yes. There's work that goes on that has to go on naturally in us to become sons of God. So when you're, so when, when you're reading statements like my sons, it's referring to everybody who has keyed into that his instruction, who has keyed into that his pattern of life. Yes. So basically, my son is not just referring to one person or my sons is not just referring to just a group of um, people, but is referring to everybody who has submitted his or herself to that person of oh, God. God. Exactly. That's who he's referring to as my son, because work needs to be done in you to become to be a child son, yes. of, of God. God. Yes. Is there any other thing to add to it? I'm only saying what I'm saying in case somebody listening, because... When you are reading this, we are talking about the standard of what is going on right now. Yeah. But when you are reading it, you are reading something in the Bible. That's why the Bible is not for any man to read. But if you are reading in the Bible, you say, my son. You need to know that you are not the one that is saying my son. Yes. Which is the point I'm making there. Yeah. You are not the one that is saying my, my son. son. Yes. Hmm. The one that is saying my sons is the spirit that is saying my sons. Yes. In whosoever that is talking there yes. is the spirit that is saying my sons. So these sons is referring to everyone yes. as a whole. Yes. Including you that is standing there talking. Yes. yes. Because, because you are not you, God. You will hear the next thing he said mm -hmm. that follow this thing that I just said. Mm. You see? So I would like, let's play the video so that we get. Hit play. Now the person that builds you up becomes your father. Somebody say, Bible say, hey, call no man your father. Look, it just shows you are a bad product of pastoring. Even Jesus called Joseph father. He walked under him. He had a mother. Is it not Jesus, the son of Joseph? So how will Jesus say you shouldn't call anybody your father? You, don't you have a biological father? Don't you call your father father? When you read, don't stop. Keep reading. When he said, call no man your father, he was talking about false prophets. And when he said, call no man, he means call none of these false prophets your father. That's what he was talking about in Matthew. What is father? Father is the Greek word for pata. Pata means nourisher. It means source. It means somebody who nourishes you. It means somebody who provides for your spiritual well-being. Father is not title. Father is responsibility. When you call me Papa or Father or Dad, I, I wanted you to get to the point where he 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 describes the function of a father, father, which is what it is. But as we said earlier, 
is not a position that man can take. He says, those who say, Bible said, call no man your father, are a product of bad pastoring. <laughs> and he now says that Jesus had, Jesus had a, a, a father. father. That when you read the book, it will even tell you that uh, Jesus, the son of um, Joseph. of Joseph, <laughs> that Jesus, the son of Joseph, said that even you, don't you have a, 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 a biological father? Don't you call your father father? But he's trying to, he's trying to, he's trying to, to say something based off of his own yeah. understanding yes. of what the writing. There. Yes, not. What the spirits had intended oh, no, yes. that thing to be. Yes. yes. Remember, when you when we read that passage, it says, "Call no man your Let's father." Let's read the passage in the Bible because it's very important for everybody to understand. Okay. Matthew twenty three from verse eight to ten, and I read. But be not ye called rabbi, for one is your master, even Christ. And all ye are brethren. And call no man your father upon the earth, for one is your father which is in heaven. Neither be ye called masters, for one is your master, even Christ. That's where it was written there. And then we'll clear up the air uh, in the Luke chapter 2, from verse 42. We'll get, we'll, we'll get there. Yes. Okay. That's 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 something I have noted. Okay. noted. Okay. Yeah, we'll, we'll get there. But just to start from here, because he's he's trying to he's trying to he's trying to introduce something. Yes. He's saying that call no man your father upon like he was upon they say call no man your father. father. He said that he said that people who keep like, people who say that they are, the Bible say call no man your father are a product of bad pastoring. Okay. And he's now saying to back whatever kind of understanding he has about it. He's now saying that even Jesus had a father. And truly, it's Jesus that had a father, not Jesus Christ. <laughs> but he's now saying that even Jesus had a father. And when you read, you will see Jesus, son of Joseph. Yes. That even we ourselves who are saying, by we say, call no man your father, have fathers. He even said, your biological father, what do you call him? Is he not father? Yes, which is what it is. Which is, wait, to, he said, don't you call him father? Mm. So he's trying to establish his own kind of um, understanding from what he has gotten here. So when you're, when, when, when you're saying, call no man, your, call no man your, 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 your father, what was written here was, call no man your father upon the yes. earth. For oh, one is your father. Which, which is, is in heaven. heaven. Yes. And remember, he went down again to describe what a father is. Yes. He even went as far as showing that he's, um, he's, um, he's, he, he's well read. He says that uh, father means, um, I think he's, he said Abba, something like that. It comes yes. from a Greek word, Abba, meaning um, nourisher, meaning this, meaning that. That's, it shows that he's, he's, he's well read, meaning he has done some kind of uh, yeah, research. research. Yes. And that's how it is, which is what we keep on saying. That the father is who nourishes you, his responsibility is not a title. Yeah. Imagine, so you ask yourself, how can man be responsible, be responsible for, for another man? man? So he shows you that all these things, just as he has mentioned, it, that's who a father is. Yes. But a father cannot be man. Yeah. And man cannot be a father. Yeah. So when you're saying that... <laughs> The that the that, that what that passage is saying that call no man your call no man your father is referring to, to false those you say those false, false prophets. prophets. Don't forget, in our society, there are those we see as false prophets, not one false prophets, prophets. Mm. and there are those we also see as true prophets, prophets. not Still just many, one. Yes. Still many. Yeah. So you so, you ask yourself. How do you reconcile that? Because yes. a father is one. Yes. So if you're saying that call no man your father is referring to those false prophets, prophets. that means it's the true prophet prophets. that is who the father is, mm. which is how it is. The true prophet, and the true prophet is God. So but when you're talking about a false prophet as many, in our society, we also have those who we have tagged to be 
the true prophet. So the true prophets in turn again are also many. And it can't be. So when you're saying that that's what it is, it makes it, it makes it makes you wonder that if if you if you if you if you have um, come to see a, a glimmer of um, a glimpse of light, it makes you wonder that how can you say? Remember, he's the one who made who made um, reference or made emphasis to the earlier passage he read that he's not saying our sons is my son or my sons. Okay. That is just him, God, a singular person. A singular person. Yes. Then you now come down the line again, and you're talking about the father is referring to those false prophets. That means you have in turn said that the true prophets mm. are who are meant to be fathers. And it doesn't it doesn't follow after the concept of, of the spirit of God. And that's why we always talked about the concepts of God. Because when it comes to God. As we are all his children, which we're supposed to be, we are not yet. Yeah. We are sorry, we are supposed to be his children, but we are not yet his children. Yeah. So when you look at it, the way he's explaining it, that is it to some people. But with the concept of God has to be with humanity. Yes. All of us as a whole. And before you, you as you look at it, the, we already established for ourselves fathers. That's why God has to come. To tell us that this is how you people were doing. To show us the pattern, how that thing should be. So it's not in the absence of uh, we not having fathers. Mm -hmm. So the instruction of God is not based on what we haven't done. Yes. It's based on what we have done. He said we should turn away from it. Yes. So it's not a, a situation where you exclude some people. That they are not among those people. Or it is for some people. So you look at the way we men are looking at things. is not the way the spirit is is looking at things. That's why it has to be his concept. And when you come to a father, as he quoted in um, Corinthians, First Corinthians, mm -hmm. I said, though we have many instructors, mm -hmm. but yeah. yet we have we many fathers. We have not. not. We don't have yes, we have only one father. Yeah. If you have to marry that thing, because this is God talking, and you uh, uh, you accept that there there are some that we should call fathers. That's, we establish ourselves, like you say, Jesus had father. But that was an example showing to us that even as you born from a human person, yeah. comes from a human person, that doesn't mean that that is Your the person father. that brought you. Yes. It's the spirit who programmed all of us that we should come like that. That is the source of our living, our being. Yeah. So it's not that person you are seeing. So now we have come <laughs> to establish for ourselves that thing, that person we have seen to be father. So that's why God has to come to make a platform for us, which is, he has to be him establishing himself that we can see and go to, to listen, to have this nourishment, to have this direction from that person. So, so that we can do away from this one that we have already established, because God is about obeying, and you cannot obey when you have not already done something that is not according, according to when, the way when, it when, ought to when, be. when we keep saying a father is the one that nourishes you, yeah. it's not wrong. You understand? Yeah. But you can't be nourished when it has to do with the spiritual things. You can't be nourished from men. Yeah. That is that. that is what everybody needs to understand. What we are talking here that. You know, somebody who, who think that what you are trying to say is that the man that give birth to you from wherever you are coming from, you are against the man. No. You know about the man. Somebody asked me before. Uh-uh. This one you are talking. You, have you forgotten that it's this man that brought you to this world? I say no. no. It's not the man that brought me to this world. Yes. And that need to go to everybody today that yeah. are watching yes. us. Yeah. We are not against the person. I remember talking with the the person, the, one of the person. As I was talking, he said, "Well, this thing, Kufre, this we think is the way it is, but sometimes we don't just need to stop giving, at least appreciating our heavenly fathers." You understand? You understand it? Yes. But he said that we need to also appreciate our heavenly fathers because they have done their work by, you know, taking care of us. Until maybe when God come. That is how it is. So whatever thing you have as a father in the house, what you call a father, mm -hmm. and he's taking care of you. Mm -hmm. When the one that brought you into this world come, it is him that you need to answer to. Yes. That's why you said, we have had them. But it's against the principle of, the, of life. Yes. The reason why we die is because of these things. Because... 
if you have a father who's supposed to take care of you, mm -hmm. who's supposed to nourish you, bring you life, because as a protect you, that is what a father does. Yeah. That is what a father does. That is who a father is. It's not just because he talks to you. Men have knowledge, but the knowledge of men cannot be counted as knowledge. Yes. That is why if you read from where we are reading now, we read from verse 8. Yeah. He started in saying from verse 8, but be ye, be not ye called rabbi. It is master. For one is your master. Yes. That's, he didn't say for one is your masters. He said for one yes. is your master. Yes. And he said for one is your master, even Christ, and all ye are brethren. Are brethren. Yes. We've said here before, if we are reading an instruction that is put by the Spirit, Call no man your father upon the earth, for one is your father, which is in heaven. It means that God that is in heaven, he alone is qualified to be called a father. Yes. He alone is qualified to be our father. Yes. And I, I have never seen a child that has two fathers. Never. It's not possible. It's only in this our world we that we claim that... This man is my father, yes. his earthly father. Yes. Then there is God that, that is, is heavenly father. father. That's why things can work. Yes. So no child can have two fathers. Yes. You when you are talking, three, <laughs> when you are talking about Jesus, Excellent. having calling uh, Joseph, Joseph father mm. from where? There was nothing like that. Show me it's place in the Bible that, yes. that Jesus called. It Joseph, is people that who is. keep saying. Is it not you, the son this of is Joseph. the son of Joseph. Yes. As men, they are. This is the son of Joseph. Mm -hmm. This, but this is the person who is setting the standard, standard. for you that you believe that is the way, yes. the truth, and the light. Yes. But remember, this thing cannot work without the person by whom the Spirit has ordained. Yes, that's where all these things come from. Yes. So let's say the person now is the one now that will tell you the way is me. Yes. The way you need to follow to access God or access life yes. is in me. Through me, yes. Remember we talked about the word me. Yes. yes. That the only way the word me can fulfill in a generation is when pe the person by whom the Spirit has ordained is being found in the midst of a people. Yes, that God with us. The God you are looking for is in me. Is in me. Yes. That's where you hear those things. And My ways are God. not your ways. My thoughts are not. He's not even talking. As he's bringing standard, you will see that the standard is not the standard of men. Yes. yes. That is how to locate God in a generation. Yes. That's why you, there's something you said before, but before I go into that thing, I want somebody to understand this because when you are talking about call no man your father upon the earth, is everybody. Yes. yes. He didn't say Call no man your father. He said, Call no man your father upon the earth. The biological father, where is he from? It's on earth. That is even the earth. Now, if you are talking about that, this thing is talking about, he's talking about false prophet. Eh? False prophet. Just like you said, if he's talking about false prophet and false prophet, there are a number of persons that are false prophets. And you are now saying that the true prophets are also number of numbers of people. Uh, will they mm. not be fathers? You understand? Mm. That means they will become fathers. Yes. But you see, to show you that God is that one God who will come to set a standard that will bring all of us back to one fold mm -hmm. of God. Having one. Having one shepherd. You can't have two. Yes. One shepherd. Because if you go out from there and you are, you know, these are the problem we have. I want to go and win soul for Christ. I want that is how it is. I want to win soul. And we don't know how his soul looks like. And the only person who comes to win our soul, bring our soul back, is God. Yes. So we men keep trying to take the place of God. But we are not. So that big warning that you see there that he said, call no man your master verse, is even where the thing started. Because if there is no man that is qualified to be called a master, then oh, so Lord. a man is not qualified to be called a father. Yes. Because first, we start from that master, master who, you know, we can gather some people and teach them the way of Christ, but we don't have Christ in us. Yes. That is why he said only Christ that is called a master because 
to whom that Christ is found in. Yes. That is the person that is qualified to show you his way. Yes. We talked about testimony. No man can bear testimony for God. Yes. If you see anybody who bear that witness, that spirit is in him. Yes. In short, is that spirit that bear witness of the yes. person? Yes. Because he bring everything that the person is doing. But all these things now, we don't know them. So we think that a witness is somebody who sit down and look mm-hmm. something and see. But that's not what it is. A witness, when you talk about spiritual, is the person by whom that spirit is found inside. Because the spirit is bringing his way from that person. That is why the people. That's why he, he states in another place, he said, if you don't believe me when I say I come from the Father, he said, believe me because of the work. Believe the work. He said, believe the work. Because it is the work. If you allow the work to be done in you, then you also will be a witness. He said, ye shall be witnesses unto me, both in Jerusalem and in Judea and in the uttermost part of the earth. So if you can allow the work that I have come to be done in you, you will also be a witness that I came not from men, but from the Father. Mm-hmm. Okay, so now let's let's make reference to to um, Luke chapter two, wherever Sylvia wanted us to to read from. Very important. Yeah, because from forty one, there is a there's there is a there's a picture that has been painted here. So let's um, let's um, read read that from Luke, Luke chapter, chapter two, two from, from forty one. Uh, okay. I read. Okay. Now, his parents went to Jerusalem every year at the feast of the Passover. And when he was 12 years old, they went up to Jerusalem after the custom of the feast. And when they had fulfilled the days as they returned, the child Jesus tarried behind in Jerusalem. And Joseph and his mother knew not of it. Mm-hmm. Joseph and his, his mother. mother. It didn't say his father and his mother. Go okay. On. But they, supposing him to have been in the company, went a day's journey, and they sought him among their king's folk and acquaintance. And when they found him not, they returned back again they to Jerusalem. Back. They turned back again to Jerusalem, seeking him. And it came to pass that after three days, they found him in the temple, sitting in the midst of the doctors, both hearing them and asking them questions. And all that heard him were astonished at his understanding and answers. And when they saw him, they were amazed And his mother said unto him, Son, why hast thou thus dealt with us? Behold, thy father and I have sought thee sorrowing. And he said unto them, How is it that ye sought me? Wish ye not that I must be about my father's business? And they understood not the saying which he spake unto unto them. them. This is the Jesus now who he said called Joseph his His father. father. But there is is, is something I noticed. Not just from this passage, but the previous ones we always read. That there was no point where Joseph actually had to say anything to to Christ. Yes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes. I don't know why it's only mother, me. Mother, it's mother, always yes. mother, mother, mother. It's, it's, it's like, I don't, I don't understand. That's, that, that's why, that's why, that's why you see, we keep saying something here because if we want to go into the mystery of what this thing represents, mm-hmm. how they signify, we will not, we will not live here today. Yes. And we have said before that these things are not talking. They are not things you come to explain to a people. Yes. It's just a work that somebody it's needs to function. come and help us. Yes. And bring out this function in us. Finish. Because these things you see. Because when you, you, if you are reading it, you see that there's one, one child that was born. Who told you that the child that God is talking about is an infant child? It's not. You see, that's why we can't go into the, the details of that. 
But we are say, we are only reading this for somebody to understand because if you are talking about a father, this or a mother, this is the same mother that went to him and said, son, they had no wife. He responded straight to her and said, woman, what have I to do, what have I to do with thee? Yes. Woman, put that in this our practical life, that your own mother is coming to you to do something and you are telling your mother, woman, what the, that is what business did I have with you? Mm -hmm. I'm so sure that you appreciate <laughs> To show you that this thing, the advent of that spirit into a vessel or a body mm -hmm. in any generation yes. would show you that that person is the person by whom every man must listen to. Yes. I'm telling you, that that's, is, that's, that's how it is. That's why I make that statement when he said, even David himself called him Lord. Yes. How come you say that David is the son of David? Because these are the mystery that we don't want to go into the details of those things. Why, why, why I was pointing that out was that there was no, there, there was no point where there was, there was a, there was a scenario painted in the picture here that Joseph actually had any uh, sort of uh, communication with, uh, with Christ. In the picture painted. In the picture that was painted there. Mm -hmm. yeah. And why I said that is because I want to draw attention back to Isaiah. That remember a prophecy was made mm -hmm. that a virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and his name will be called uh, Emmanuel. Emmanuel, being uh, God with us. Then down the line, he said he will be called um, Jesus, Counselor. Okay, yes. He will be called um, Everlasting mighty Father, God. a Mighty God, the Prince of, the Prince of Peace, and Everlasting. Father Everything, but he said an Everlasting Father. Father. And time. now the picture that is still painted here in time of fulfillment, still in writing, that that everlasting father now, who is Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. is now on ground. Mm -hmm. yes. And the everlasting father now has a father, Joseph. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. So it now makes you it now makes you understand that, or it makes you see, even if it's just a glimpse, that no wonder there was no point. Where just, uh, Joseph and Christ had any kind of conversation, yes. there was no those, yes. because he he is the father. Yes, Joseph is just an imaginary uh, a symbol. Is, 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 a okay, symbol. let me not say let me not say imagine, imaginary because it's an imagination is what is what the men function with. Yes. So it's an is an is 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 a is a is a um, significant um, uh, instrument that yes. the spirits used to play whatever kind of prank he needed to play on man yeah. because we as men are now seeing joseph as a father to someone who has been described to be the everlasting, everlasting father, father. Mm -hmm. so what i'm pointing out is that in 49 where he said that how is it that he sought me he say mm -hmm. wish he not that i, I must, must be, be about my father's business. business the picture that is painted there shows that his father in. was there with his mother mm -hmm. looking for him yes mm -hmm. so it's just like worried it's just like it's just like the person you are the person you are saying is his father is like he's there and he's and like he's don't you know about be about my father's business he'll be like oh what are you talking about i'm here mm -hmm. that's because there is who the father is yes mm -hmm. and if you are and if you are seeing the big picture at that point he's just telling he must be about his business because we remember we talked about the fact that the spirit and the body are inseparable. Yeah. That like you can't point at the point at the body and exclude the spirit. And you can't point at the, the spirit, spirit and exclude the body. body. Yes. So now you're talking about Jesus Christ, a person who is carrying that spirit of Christ in him. Mm -hmm. yes. So he is the father. Yes. So when he say he must be about his father's business, it's not as if he's referring to a third, a third party. Yeah. He's just telling you that he must be about his business because his appearance or his coming was for a purpose to do something. Yes. So it's like, come, you guys should get out of my way because I came here to do something. I have a work that I need to do. Yes. So he's like, I must be about my business. But the picture that is painted there makes it look like he was he was saying that he must be about his father's business. The, now the, the father is now referring is now referring to 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 Just God in the sky. Those are <laughs> the picture we see in the world because when we see this thing, we think that these things are people. And if this, you look at these incidences that we see, the, the, the symbol we see are people. Uh, 
This thing now, we are seeing it practical today. Yes. <coughs> That's why we can sit down and talk this thing. You know, when I talk and ninja, it's because I see the practical side of it. Yes. I, I, the, the person we are talking about today in our generation, better from somewhere. Yes. But the very household that he better from, the man himself, whom he better from, can tell you, God born himself from my home. But this thing, we don't know them. We think that, that's why, if you believe that, that spirit can bring you into this world. Yes. Why can't you believe that he can also use you to bring himself? Yes. And These are the problem we have. Because a man can go and sleep with a, a male can go and sleep with a female, not even a man. A male man can go and sleep with a female man. And a child is formed and we think that we are, is yeah, our one. Or is yeah, our yeah, one. Yeah, I think the last time you asked this question, mm. you go and lay with a female and a child is formed. Do you know how the child takes form? The child grows there for that womb for maybe nine months, ten months. Do you know how the child take grow there? That womb, that female enter that labor room and bring forth the child. The mystery that follows surround all those nine months. Do you have an idea oh as the man? Now, when one the child drop, you ask who is the father. He, he, somebody will laugh, and that's why somebody can tell you, don't, don't you know that uh, that man I bring you to this world? Listen that the spirit generated the first man, male and female, and now the oh yeah, progression begins mm -hmm. from here. Does not mean that he has lost his capacity. Yeah. Those are the mysteries that we need to understand so that we can remo remove ourselves from that displace. Remember, the reason why we are suffering the things we are suffering today is that because we think we can take care of the situation, mm -hmm. which is supposed to be the work of that God. And today we are still crying for God. To come and help us. Tell me, how will God come to help you? Come to help you, be a father to you. You will see, be a father to some people. That's why in this program, the first standard that Jesus showed in the writing, which the Spirit used to show us, is that if any man will come after me, let him deny himself yeah. and take up his cross and follow me. That's what he said. For whosoever will save his life, we we'll lose it. Remember, if you are a man who have had maybe household, whom you claim they are your, your children, and you need to follow that Christ, you need to leave everything and follow the Christ. Your wife needs to leave and follow the Christ. Yes. Your children need to leave and follow the Christ. When you, when you reach his table, everybody will go and meet there. Yes. That's where you see one foot. The same thing with the household where I come from. The same thing with the house or where the, a house or where the person come from. So you see, that one standard is to humanity as a whole. Yes. Now, if you refuse, as a that one that already claimed father, you refuse to deny yourself. Now the children that are coming from you, when they access him, you see automatically they will now know that oh, you are not qualified to be called a father. Yes. Because you cannot be a father to them. And God is still a father to them. Mm. It's not possible. There are no two fathers. Yeah. But you see, this thing we are saying it because we have not had God all this while. So yes. we do, we go on exactly. doing service to men in the name of in God. In the absence of God. Yes. All in the name of God. Yes. You see, it's the way it is. That's why he's making this statement that he's making. So we are saying that whatever standard that we have been living in, mm. and we keep living in, we need to understand that when it has to do with the ways of God, God will come into our midst and set that standard that will eliminate this, my own brother, my own sister, my own uh, family, my own this, my own. that, my own. Today, now, we are not agreeing with ourselves because Papa John does not, is not the same with Papa Kufre. Or Papa Kufre, their family is not the same with Papa David. You see, David has his papa exactly the same way that we all of us have, have our men, whom we see as men that come from God. God. Mm -hmm. You, you don't, I don't believe in the one that you know that come from God, that he come from God. I can tack your own first prophet. prophet. Mm -hmm. Then you can, from the back to tack my own. You can see the chaos that is going on, the conflict, all in the name of what? Men try to take the responsibility no, when they have not been given the capacity. Remember, you are talking about a father. He has a capacity. Yes. What is your capacity? Is your capacity just a talk to a people? 
that your capacity, can you give them eternal life? Because that is who a father represents. Yes. Remember, when we talk about Psalm 127, children, children are the inheritance of, of the, the Lord, Lord, and the fruit of his, is, the womb is, 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 is his reward. It's never our reward. Yes. So we should learn to remove ourselves from that picture so that our world can be better. Okay. That is just it. Um, there's another um, picture I want us to look at in that uh, Isaiah that talks about a child that has to be born and a son that has to be given. You know, before now we see God being a spirit as something you cannot see. You understand? But if you look at the picture now, you see that God as a spirit must be in a body. So you see that if before the, the God comes, the people have, was already there. The prophecy stated that, that the child has to be born in the midst of the people. And that child will become the everlasting father. The mighty God. God is only God that is mighty. But it's in this child that this God has to be formed. And you see the picture that we have as men. We know that uh, uh, Jesus, we see a picture to be a person. And in that child has to be God. So God, being a spirit, is not without the body. The same way that spirit, the overall spirit, generates us as men. God is even the body self. Yes. Generated us as men with the bodies. That's the same way that in his program, he said, this is how God will come. So this God that is coming is not like you, which is, is not a man. Yeah. So if it was something that is the way, we will have made us to be Okay, but because you know that we are not okay, we are men. This so he has to form God. Talking about this Isaiah that we keep talking about this prophecy, you see in the fulfillment in Matthew, Matthew chapter one, when he said all this thing was done to be fulfilled that which was, which was prophesied prophet. that a virgin shall conceive and shall be a son, and thou shalt call his name Emmanuel, Emmanuel being interpreted God, God with, with us. us. Now you are seeing that this present of this person now. Mark the beginning of God with the people. Yes. yes. So the question you, we keep asking is that, what are the people been calling God things? Mm. Because this is the present that marked God yes. with the people. And people was already existing you see, before. This is the same thing that we are having in this world today. Yes. The only way we can have God with us is when that first by whom the Spirit has found worthy to dwell in is yes. with us. Yes. That is the only way we can have God. That's where but we think is. that God is in the sky. God is never in the sky. He's just that mystery man. Let me use that word. He's that mystery man that yes. when he speaks, everything will come down. That is who God is. As we obey. Okay, so let's um, proceed and um, see what else he has to say in the, the video. Daddy, what I'm hearing is responsibility for your nourishment. And my duty is to feed you and bring ministry out of you. So the person that builds you up and brings ministry out of you becomes your father. Is that clear? That's your father. That's your father. Anybody who is angry that somebody calls somebody a father is because he has never had one. It's because he has never had one. He has all the time operated fatherless. And because he's fatherless, he is angry with those who have a father. Brother Paul, I, see, I begot you through the gospel. I'm your father. I have begotten you. I have built you up. I have opened your eye to the gospel. I have developed you in Christ. I'm your father. Follow me, not follow us. You will be acting like a bastard. If you have books by Joel Osteen, T.D. Jakes, and you don't have any of mine, you're a bastard. Those are the attributes of a bastard. It means you don't know your father. It's not an insult. A bastard is a description of a state where somebody doesn't know his father. Am I teaching here? We, we have to put things in perspective, right? I say, is it not right? It's not an insult. It can be used as, as an insult, but it was not designed to be used as an insult. It was designed to describe the state of somebody who has, who has lost, eh? he has lost bearing. So now he doesn't know who his father is. One time, T.D. Jakes is my father. Another time, Creflo Dollar is my father. Another time, T.B. Joshua is my father. Another time, uh, Prophet, uh, Prophet, all those names. That boy is a bastard. It's a total bastard. Brother Paul said, if you have no rebuke, you are a bastard. Is there also in the book of Hebrews? You say, a man that is without rebuke is being treated as a bastard. Is there in the Bible? It's not an insult. It's a definition of a status. I'm teaching good. 
turn to your neighbor and say, I'm not a bastard. I know my father. I know my father's house. I know my brothers. I know my sisters. And you're one of them. I told somebody who shall glory in the house. Turn to your neighbor and say, you're my brother, you're my sister. We belong to this family. Tell your neighbor, at least I think so. It's left for you to confirm. <laughs> I'm teaching good this afternoon. Look at that first Corinthians chapter 4 verse 15 again. Let me zero in some things there. For though you have 10,000 babysitters in Christ, yet have you not many fathers? For in Christ Jesus, I have begotten you through the gospel. That's a father. One who begats you through the gospel becomes your father. Next verse. Wherefore, I beseech you, be followers of us. Eh? Be followers of us. Of me as I follow Christ. Follow me. You can be hearing voices. My sheep hear my voice, not my voices. You can be hearing voices. You should hear a voice that you recognize. A voice that you know. And even in your dream, when that voice talks to you, you know that this is the voice of my shepherd. This is the voice of my father. You should listen to the teachings day and night. Sleep with them. <laughs> Let me start like Brother Kufre. He says, I don't know what to say. <laughs> but when we watch things like this, Especially this um, last bit. It just makes you wonder where we as, as, as men get uh, our understanding of, 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 of spiritual things. It's from reading the Bible. It makes, it makes you wonder because <clears throat> there's, there's what, I've, there's, there's what I've, 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 I've come to understand. Before now, when you read a book, when you read a book, especially an um, educational book, there is there is um, a kind of idea you can derive from what you read. Yes. And the next person can read it, and derive, he derives his own kind of idea, idea. Yes. from it. Yes. That's why you have philosophers writing um, thesis because everybody sees something different from what is put in front of in front of them yes so it makes me wonder as men how do we decipher spiritual things because the way we 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 we, we reason and talk about things that pertain to god it makes you it makes you wonder because when you when you when you when you you talk about being being a bastard, as in a bastard is someone who doesn't know his, his father. father. Mm -hmm. And if you have been following what we have been saying, mm -hmm. you get to realize that all men are put in that category because yes. we all don't know who our fathers are. Mm. Remember, the very first video we played, he, said, he talked about us, a kind of man kind of prayer. Mm. He says, let us, let us plead with God that every God that we have taken to be God that in is not in that in the place of his majesty, the, 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 the mighty God the heaven. mighty God, the God of heaven, mm. that he should um, have mercy oh, on no. us. So it, it shows you it shows you something that we as we as men, we don't know who our father is. Yes. So because we don't know who our father is, we have yes. taken things, other things mm. yes. people, we have taken men. We have taken other things, other people to be our fathers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's that same way we have taken those people to be our fathers without knowing because of the absence of who the father should be. That's the almighty father. Yes. yes. We have gone astray. Yes. And now, in the absence of that almighty father, we are still asking that imaginary almighty father again so for shows. forgiveness. Mm. This is what I'm trying to say. So you have taken something to be your father because... You did not know mm. who the main father was yes. or is. Yes. So you have taken something else to be the father. Yes. And for a long time, you have seen that thing as the father. Mm. 
Mm-hmm. You didn't see it as the wrong father. Yes. You saw it as the father. Yes. Then down the line, you are now realizing, realizing that there is a father somewhere else. Yes. And the same way, the same pattern you have used to deal and relate with these one. people yeah. that you have taken to be a father, father. Mm-hmm. is the same way you are now relating with that same imaginary father which you have now come to realize is the is the almighty one who is not that one you are with mm-hmm. asking for still forgiveness unseen. Can still you unseen still unseen that a realization that's that, that's why i said is a man is is a man thing yeah. mm-hmm. because if you, if if you are really seen mm-hmm. hmm, you won't, you won't, still, you won't still dwell, apply mm, that same um, pattern yes. to the one who you are calling the Almighty, Almighty. Father. Yes. Mm. Because in that sense, that Father is the one who should be on ground to show you that the ones you who you have taken as a Father, yes. well, they are not fathers. Yes. So now you are seeing this Father. You have access to this Father, mm-hmm. and now you are getting your instructions and 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 directions from that Father. Yes. So you are now following that his principle that will now make you his child. Yes. So what I'm trying to say is that we we have all gone astray. As as he said, we are like lost sheep. We have gone astray, mm. and it's still him that has led us down that path. Yes. Remember, he says. Deliver us from from if, temptation. How how was it put in the last time? You need to you need to define that though. I mean, it's still him. As in the the him I mean is the, the is, the, is the spirit of the Lord, the spirit of in the absence of yes, yes. That's who I. God is not the right father that, now. That's 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 what I'm referring to. You know, we keep we keep we keep us. saying this thing so that our people understand. Because when you say when God, when God, when God, God is the personal. Yes, yes. But when we are talking about the spirit of the Lord, we are talking about the spirit that generated everybody, yes. which is where we have the confusion from. But he said that God is not an author of confusion because that is the person that he approved that from him all the confusion God direction. Yes. yes. So he is the one to give us direction. Yes. He's the one to give to nourish guide us, us into He's comfort the one us. To comfort us. To guide that us. is why he is the father. Yes. But like we keep saying here. We have taken men, the same way we take men, mm-hmm. these plenty men where we see, say, then they talk about spiritual things. Mm-hmm. Now, the same thing where we go see one person, oh, in this our world, by whom that spirit agree, oh. Mm-hmm. Wait. That is the person that we need to hear everything from. As they speak, I mean, broken, so that anybody can Which understand. Which is the picture in that Today, game. we are reading about Paul. We are reading about Paul. Our Paul said, follow me. As, as I am follower of Christ. Uh, what he's saying, he didn't tell you, follow me, oh. What he's saying is that, as you are following me, check. If I am not following the ways of Christ, Don't follow then me. watch. Because that's why a man needs to watch. Now, to show you that you don't need to follow Paul. Yeah, follow Christ. But you need to follow Paul the way you follow Christ. Because when you watch him, if he's not following Christ well, then you need to do your take your stand from there. But the thing is that what we are saying today is that you cannot get it right without the person who will watch the thing and show you the mystery. Yeah. Now, that is the same person that Paul is telling you to believe, you know. Yeah. Because this Paul we are talking about, he said, I would like us to read that for anybody watching us to understand. First Corinthians 13, verse 9 and 10 is very important. We read that and we read Second Corinthians 11, 1 to 4. That's where I want to end my moment. First Corinthians 13, are we there? Yeah. 1 to what? Verse 9 and 10. 9 and 10. 1 Corinthians chapter 13, 9 and 10. For we know in part, and we prophesy in part. But when that which is perfect is come, then that which is in part shall be done away. I didn't speak that though. We didn't speak that. It is the poor. Is the poor. That is why the only person that is the way that humanity should follow is Christ himself. Yes. But the Christ is not in the sky. The Christ becomes the person by whom the spirit of truth that we keep saying here would be dwelling in, in the generation of men to guide humanity from. So when he said we know in part, he's attributing it to every man in the whole world. 
that represent or stand to represent God before people. Remember, we have said that God does not have a representative. Yeah. That spirit, whosoever is standing on behalf of that spirit, must be that spirit. So he said, we know in part, and we prophesy in part, but when that which is perfect is come, that which is in part, shall be done away. that is that which we know shall be done away. Yes. So where are we supposed to hold our anchor on? Is the person that is perfect. The question is, where is the perfect one? But he has said that that perfect man, that man with the per that perfect man with the perfect knowledge is within you. So that is the person that we need to find because in him we have an understanding. And that understanding comes with the capacity to be able to do the things of the spirit. Outside him, nobody can carry the work of God. Yes. Outside that person. The work of God is meant for God. So this is the language of Paul. Not my language. But we have said that that Paul is the spirit that is speaking there. Why is it in part? Because as long as it's a spirit putting in the writing without the fulfillment, it's still in part. Yes. 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 Because the fulfillment is to show you that the Paul I'm talking here is not somebody. He's telling you that everything you are reading here, everything you ever know, when the right person is, has not been revealed, you are knowing in part. Yes. So it is when the right person comes, you need to keep away your knowledge because and when, embrace that is knowledge. When, when the right person is coming, say when that which is perfect, <coughs> signifying the person of God. Yes. yes. When that which is perfect is come. Mm -hmm. When that which is perfect is come, when that is fulfilled, you won't be talking about Paul. You wouldn't be talking about Paul. You'll be talking about the perfect one. Yes. Which is and it is talk. also stated in another place. Be ye perfect, even yeah. as your yeah. heavenly, heavenly father yeah. is what? Yeah. Is yeah. perfect. Because that must be the person. Yes. So you, 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 there is a spiritual concept and a spiritual standard. You cannot get perfection outside the person of God. Yes. And it is a spiritual principle. To be perfect and you cannot get that principle on your own as a man yeah. yeah because everything you know you read here you understand it as a man so when it comes to the application of perfection you can't get it outside the person of god you know the way he sounds we in our world must know that it is only one person that must be right yes it's not that the spirit did not put it in you to vibrate yeah. as a pastor, as a prophet, as an evangelist. You can vibrate, but know that at the end of the day, you are not the one to judge yourself to be right. Yeah. Yes. Always have it at the back of your heart that this thing I'm vibrating, I'm talking so sure I might be wrong at the end. So that there will still be room for correction, correction. Yeah. Yes. so that there will still be room to turn back from that journey because you are on a journey. Remember that it is that same Paul that was, he was formerly Saul. Yeah. He was on the way to Damascus to do what? To persecute the, 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 the saints. And what does that signify? Putting a lot of people into prison. Is this way now? Is, is this way? way? Mm. So we should have it at the back of our mind that no matter what we do in this world, at the end, this is a spiritual standard. That is even the point. At the end of the day, be you pastor, evangelist, prophet, bishop, be you bishop, be you a teacher, at the end of the day, it is only one that will be right. Yes. And all of us, no matter the title, subject to that person. we will be subject to that person. That is, it. That is the spirit of the Paul. Because knowing that the way I'm functioning, Not there is perfect. a limitation. Yes. That is the spirit. Is that littleness to be able to have a space for correction? Yeah. That's what it is. But like we keep saying here that the way of God that needs to be fulfilled in our world as a program is a process. It's not by say yeah. after me, Lord Jesus. It doesn't work that way. Yes. It's a process. And that process, that spirit, when the spirit appears, and stationed in a person that is make order. himself a, have a person that he abode himself. You see that that person now is going to bring out a standard of living that everyone must undergo that training. Yes, it's, that's why I say it's a process. Yes. 
It's not to one day. Find the people. That process of refining is where is now bringing this one that we want to read. We read it the last time, but I would also like us to revisit it. This Second Corinthians eleven, okay. one to four. Before he bring out, he show you the process that we are talking about here. Mm. Let me read chapter ten of that Second Corinthians. 17 and 18 where he ended before he talks about that that process i'm talking about from 11. Yes. he said 17 said but he that glorieth, let him glory in the lord mm -hmm. for not he that recommended commended yes. that commended it? sorry mm -hmm. for not he that commended himself is approved mm -hmm. but whom the Lord commended. commended. Mm -hmm. You hear that? Yes. Because He knows the heart of humans. Those who claim that they already they already made it to the way of God, so they have, they have become a teacher to many. You can hear when you hear what He said. He already commended Himself. Yes. That is, He has been approved of God. And That's why I'm asking. Of you now that have become a father to many, who is your own father? Because a father has to be one. You understand? Yes. Because you have a father. That's why when you keep asking people, who is your spiritual father? How who is your spiritual father? We have? That's because we have sessionalized it. The spiritual father There's and the earthly father. Earthly father. Mm. Now, when you are talking about spiritual father and the earthly father, a spiritual person is the person that, even as you are seeing him physical, he has a mystery that surrounds him. Yes. yes. You get? Yes. yes. It means you must see him. Because if you take a spirit like something you cannot see, why will you have a father that is a spiritual and you want to see? Mm -hmm. As men. Let's because we say that you can't see spirit. Yeah. That shows you the that the birth of God in the generation must be in somebody. Yes. Why do you go to men for God? You should be looking for God as a spirit. But you go to men because you believe that that spirit is living in the body of a person. Mm -hmm. But the question is, body. are you sure that if you have a body that that spirit that we know lives in that generated this world that is at that capacity dwelling are you sure that that person will not be the god that we are looking for because any person that that spirit dwells in do not have any limitation yes, yes. we have limitation today because we as yes. sinners has not have room for that spirit to dwell in yet yes, yes. so that is why he bring in this to show us that there is a process that we need to undergo, which I've said before, that if you go back to Genesis account and see what happened in the Garden of Eden, it's the same thing that is one year. Because it's not a, a program that has passed. It's something that any time that the birth of God takes place, that is what you must experience in the world. So I would like you to read that, Savior. Second Corinthians chapter 11 from verses 1 to 4. To four. Would to God ye could bear with me a little in my fully. Sorry, what is what is this word? In my fully. It's my stupidity. foolishness. In my foolishness. Do you hear that? Yeah. Because this is a person that tells you I know in part. So you need to know that there is a limitation with him. Mm -hmm. But rather, there is there will not be a limitation with the person that will come with that perfect knowledge. Yes. yes. You see? So, proceed. Would to God ye could bear with me a little in my fully, and indeed bear with me. For I am jealous over you with godly jealousy. For I have espoused you to one husband, that I may present you as a chaste virgin. To Christ. Mm -hmm. But I fear lest by any means, as the serpent beguiled Eve through his subtlety, so your minds should be corrupted from the simplicity that is in Christ. For if he that cometh preached another Jesus, whom we have not preached, mm -hmm. or if ye Receive another spirit, which ye have not received, or another gospel, which ye have not accepted, ye might well bear with him. 
if you read this thing down you see what it put their body see following this i will take it from the down he said if he that cometh preach, preach another mm -hmm. gospel yes which we have not preached yes now i want to ask you or i'm asking this to the people outside yeah mm -hmm. if paul tells you i know in part we know in part not just i mm -hmm. yeah we know in part mm -hmm. and we prophesy in part yes but when that which is perfect is come mm -hmm. that which is in part shall be done away yeah if he said to, so to you and there is another person that is coming to preach another jesus so, yes or another gospel yes. can you say that gospel that the person is coming to preach to it's you wrong. is wrong which one is wrong now which one will be wrong the at one, that moment the one it first. means the one the the first. First. Mm. that was there yes so you see so the one that will show you the gospel that is right is the one that is coming with that perfect knowledge yes the one that is not right is the one that is in part in short that one may not even follow the line that's why the perfect one need to come to bring to, that is come and bring you the one that is in line yes these are the things that we need to understand but he said he should should all bear with, with him, him. Yes. or if he receive another spirit if he have not received mm -hmm. i want to ask the spirit that we have received before is that the spirit of god no. that's the question that is the spirit of man you see the perfect knowledge when it comes in and you apply it into the practical side you are giving room to that perfect spirit yes so these things are they are aligned but you can't get it right if that person that is that have that spirit doesn't come to show we are only saying this thing today because the person is available exactly he can now show all the mystery that we have we have missed a lot of people are sitting down there listening to him this family so that is the family that is the family of Abel and Amina mm -hmm. that cannot be the family of God mm -hmm. except you have taken the family of Abel and Amina to be the family of God just as we keep having everybody with his own family but it's supposed to be one god one doctrine god. one belief one lifestyle one people one unity one faith that's what it is yes. just as you begin with one baptism because it's when that person come to correct everyone that baptism. everybody will have the same standard of living yes it brings me to this point this gospel that he says that whosoever begot you in the gospel mm -hmm. is the one that is qualified to be called a father yes. and i ask which gospel is it the same gospel of christ that it is stated go ye into the world and preach the gospel to every creature who should preach to who is it the creature we as men as creatures are we qualified to preach the gospel or it is the creator that is qualified to be the to preach the gospel so the gospel of christ must be preached by christ by christ himself because he is the creator the gospel is made and designed spiritually to create us to form us to give us form because we don't have form yeah. that is the power of the gospel that is why it is also stated that I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ because it is the power of God mm -hmm. unto the salvation. salvation. Yes. The gospel has that capacity to mm -hmm. transform somebody, and to change must, must our state. And yes. it must come from the person of God because of he is the creator. Mm -hmm. We are creatures. We are not qualified so to preach this, the gospel. All this thing now, now reading, when we read it, we carry, we carry the book. That is why he said, Ye hypocrite, first remove the beam that is in your own eye. He didn't say go and remove another person. He said before. That means the time you spend to remove the beam in your own eye, you may not just go to remove another person. Yes. You will just spend your time, your lifetime, removing beam From in yourself. your own eye. Yes. That is the thing. So these are the things that we need, everyone needs to understand that when we are talking about God, we are talking about the Father of all. Yes. So basically, all we have been trying to establish is the fact that we as men have no idea of who the father is. Yes. And 
they have tried to also emphasize the fact that God is that father. Yes. And God as that father cannot be found in the sky. Yes. Which is why we have all the misconceptions we have because we have assumed that God to be in the sky. Mm-hmm. And because we can't have access to him in the sky, we we we, we come up with with ideas which was still given by that spirit of the Lord, though he made us think we though he made us think we came up with the idea. Yeah. So I will put it like that. We have come up with ideas to follow after that God we can see. And it's those are ideas that have led us to this um, confusion. confusion. So we'll just simply summarize all this by re-emphasizing who the Father is. Yes. That God is the Father. And the only way you can have God in a generation, in our midst, is when he makes himself available to us. Yes. And how does he make himself available to us? Is by introducing his spirit into a body. It's basically as simple as that, introducing his spirit into a body. So it's not that he is coming as a spirit to choose among the pool of men. Mm-mm. No. But he is putting his spirit in a body Pretty which he has already prepared and introduced into the world as God. Yes. Yes. So he's coming to inhabit that body yes. and do his work as himself, not as a man of God in the way we as men no men to come from God. Yeah. That's who the Father is. He's, he's written there that we should come out from among um, them and, and be, be separate, separate, said the Lord, and touch not the unclean thing, and I will receive you. Who does then the receiving? Will I receive you. Who does the receiving? It's yeah. God. Yes. He went on in 18 to now say, that's, that's me reading from Second Corinthians chapter 6. He went on, that's chapter 6 verse 17. Then 18 went on to say that I will be a father unto you and he shall be my sons and daughters, said the Lord Almighty. That shows you that for any of this to be possible, for any, for any of us to have a father, God needs to be available. And once he's available, we don't just get to be his sons and daughters, but we get to do a work that qualifies us to be a son His products. or a daughter of God. Of God. Yes. So basically, all we need to do, just as Brother Savior said in our previous um, episode, that God won't come to save you, that he comes that he, he might, might be, be saved. saved. So his appearance ignites a work that is meant to be done in us and a work that we need to put ourselves into. So seek ye the Lord Wow. While while he may be found, just this goes to say that we should seek is now. for that person of God because we can be looking for him in the sky, which we have been doing for centuries, yeah. and we definitely won't find him. Yes. So seek for him while he may be found. Just has come to shorten our search because now is the time for us to seek and find that person of God. Well, we won't find him; he will find us. But this we is. need. To be in that state Happily. of seeking. In That's order. the only way God can God already find us. us. Yeah. Yes. So I would say that at this point, it's now Thank time you. for us to stop doing things in the name of God. That we should stop doing things for God. The way we, we know how we say we do things for, for God. God. But it's now time to do things <clears throat> to <throat> God. Abi, I think that's how that's how I put it. Yeah, God according to the way God wants us to function, to, to, to function meet God one on one. Yes. Yeah. So I would say that um, if there is nothing else anybody needs to add, and I think that's how it is, I would um, draw the curtains on this um, episode of um, or this issue of um, fatherhood because yes. this issue of fatherhood has taken up um, two episodes. So we will draw a curtain on um, this episode of. Um, Father. Or the issue of a um, father would rather, yes. and would um, in a subsequent episode deal with another intriguing uh, issue. So would um, call it a wrap. And as usual, we if you have any um, 
inquiries you need to make, questions you need answers to, feel free to send us an email via the addresses on your screen. I'll be sure to get back to you. So we'll say bye for now. So we'll come your way next time.